20 years ago, mentioning it in a Toyota Prius in the same sentence as a Ferrari would have been considered crazy. But it shows how far ahead of its time the original Japanese hybrid was when it launched back in 1997. But let's kick off with this fun fact. The current Toyota Prius uses a 1.3 kilowatt hour battery pack, while the Ferrari LaFerrari Hypercar uses a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack. Both use a petrol engine plus regenerative braking or otherwise lost energy to top up the battery cells that then amp up the electric motor for a performance boost. You don't need to plug them in because the battery packs are about a quarter of the size of most plug-in hybrids and one twentieth of the size of an electric vehicle. Big battery packs are still expensive, which is why they're not in an affordable Prius, and they're heavy, which is why Ferrari keeps them small. BMW says it refuses to put a 500 kilogram battery in a future sports car until the battery weight drops because it hurts handling. But which type of hybrid is best? A series hybrid uses a petrol or diesel engine only to top up the batteries with the electric motor powering the vehicle. A parallel hybrid uses the engine in tandem with the electric motor to drive the vehicle. The LaFerrari is a parallel type because it mixes the 588 kilowatt V12 petrol engine with a 120 kilowatt electric motor. But the Toyota Prius is a series parallel hybrid. The difference is that the Italian hypercar never switches off its petrol engine. It always contributes to forward progress. The Japanese hatchback can turn off its 72 kilowatt 1.8 litre petrol engine and only use its 53 kilowatt electric motor, albeit only at low speeds using low throttle. The benefit of those small battery packs beyond less weight and cost is simple. What is quickly lost can be quickly gained with regenerative braking. And when the Toyota batteries do run low, such as when maintaining a constant speed on the freeway without much braking, the engine stays on more often to drive both the vehicle and recharge the batteries. Then, under full acceleration, both the petrol and electric combine, like a LaFerrari but with much less power, to provide maximum boost. Under the bonnet of a Prius is the 1.8 petrol engine on the left, and the first motor generator, MG1, sits to the right. That acts as a starter motor and harnesses any surplus power from that petrol engine to then charge the batteries under the back seat. The other main motor, MG2, sits to the far right. It drives the car on startup, in reverse, at low speeds, and then becomes a generator to trap otherwise lost braking energy. Then sandwiched in between MG1 and MG2 is the continuously variable transmission, or CVT. It runs in tandem with an inverter and power control unit, PCU, to ensure motor voltage is right, while linking the front differential via a chain. The upshot is today's Prius consumes just 3.4 litres per 100 k, about half that of a turbocharged petrol Volkswagen Golf. Toyota claims its hybrid batteries are designed to charge and discharge for an extended period of time and are covered by an 8 year, 160,000 kilometre warranty. Beyond that, a battery replacement asks between two and $3,000 according to the brand. Increasingly though, there is a bridge built between normal and plug-in hybrids called the micro-hybrid. Where most vehicles use a 12 volt power system with regular battery and alternator, this type uses a tiny lithium ion battery to help deliver a 48 volt electrical system that can do more to support the petrol or diesel engine. The Audi SQ7 has a minuscule 0.5 kilowatt hour battery that is recharged via braking and it runs a 13 kilowatt electric compressor that can automatically spin up the turbocharger of the 4 litre V8 diesel to eliminate turbo lag. In the Audi A8, that format is just enough to switch off its 3 litre turbo V6 when coasting between 55 and 160 km per hour, reducing fuel consumption by 0.7 litres per 100 k's. It is all about refining petrol and diesel engines with a theory that a little bit gained from regenerative braking equals a little bit saved in fuel. It's no Prius or LaFerrari, but more manufacturers are increasingly working on micro or mild hybrid technology.